Oh god, here we come! I also didn't know that Crisis City was um, was also included in this game. But thankfully, I, <laughs> I was kind of surprised that Pai just made a, a level for this in the sequel. It might be interesting to have people in the community to make a collaboration hack, but I'm sure the idea might might not work quite well. But I'll probably imagine people trying to rework a hack that's already been released. And trying to remake some of the levels with with our home point of view, well, as we can probably reimagine what the what the main creator was trying to make of. This might be a simple idea, but I'm not sure. I just get the idea from for every once in a while. Many people are really scared of Crisis City, I'm also of Sonic 06. I remember one time watching Crouton playing Sonic 06, saying it was the best game ever. I don't know if he said it ironically, but I've seen some reviews of it. It was real bad, but... <laughs> I could you, <laughs> I could you not laugh for, for seeing a game this bad? But I'm not even a Sonic fan, so... I don't think I don't have any choice to play in it. But don't worry, I don't have um I don't have a PlayStation or um, any supportive console that plays it. But instead I have Sonic Adventure which I can play it on my GameCube. Where am I kidding? I have a Wii, but I can also play but I can also play it because the game has some I found games from GQ games are compatible. So that's kinda cool. Oh hey Mick! Yeah, I'm finally back. Even if you were a Sonic fan, you sh still shouldn't play it. That's true. But you can be rightfully wrong. If you did not expect the, the major improvement that the game developers are trying to make. But yeah, that was, a, that was probably the wrong choice they made. How could you blame Sega? But I want to stick to the regular Sonic games when everything was in 2D. Like I always stick to regular 2D platformers, but still. Yeah, I'm also glad to see you again, Mick. I, I was like away, I was going to a tropical island and then the plane just crashed through in the, in the sea. So this is why I wasn't I wasn't active for once in a while. But I didn't have internet in the in the island, which is kinda sad. But instead I have to like to reach my people using some coconuts. Using a Falcon with coconuts would be, be kind of cool, but I don't have any knowledge of how, how this might work. But I brought along my whole pet, that freaking teddy bear, which is still alone, but it, it still considers me as a as fool because he's going getting angry. <laughs> but even he tries to eat me, I still love him, Kappa B. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, my internet is fine now. Not just because some stupid ba some stupid assholes just tried to cut some wires while while I was minding my business. I don't know what what happened. 
But it is a major case because so many people cannot steal some some valuable stuff outside. But this is what happens when you <laughs> when you take an accompany some bad people. There's a Sonic 06 remake at this tier stage. Looks pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I was thought there was a community who tried to remake some of the latest Sonic games and try to add up some new stuff to make it more better than what Sega could not have been trying to, uh, to, to, to increment in. But I hope the true Sonic fans might get the job done. Hopefully. Yo, who this guy? Oh hey, it's Kaze. How you doing? Also, country congrats on beating KBL2 first. You really beat me to it. Thanks for the good luck, but it's, um, it's a playback video. So I just had to record they come um, right there on my computer. So yeah, this level is ridiculously hard, but I'm saying that because of the reds. The other ones are just fine, except that one Paco one, when you have to end up from some blind jumps. But yeah, there are some of the cones seem really hard, especially this part right here when you have to cycle the same jump like three times over. I guess I pretty much died in, in, in this area pretty much. Um, I guess I also find a strat which you could not, um, which you can get some some parts of, of the level I guess for this, for one coin. But <laughs> it seems risky so I do not want to take to come into a site for this. It's not what happens just by luck, but whatever. This jump is kinda dumb too. You need to take enough momentum then to hit the very bottom of, of this wall. This is the part I was talking about with those slopes. Because after the time I always dying when I have enough reds. Just to prove it myself I'm not dying, but I did over time. Even the start passes is kinda is kinda damn annoying.
to tell the truth, if every Kaiser hack could stick to the regular um, 8 coin stars, that should be simple. Try to imagine um, a huge level when you could just have every death trap that you can imagine. And you place... You place those coins, I mean, those 8 coins, at each end of the of a level. So imagine place from each coin from where the stars are located or located. And you might think that this would be easy, but I guess you're probably wrong. Just prove that you will survive if you don't if you don't die or make a simple mistake. But this just thing or oh, oh hey, you probably need try up because we have 34 coins but Whatever, you're just gonna die anyway. But this is the most hardest stuff that I ever accomplished, so I'm kinda glad of it. Yeah, every time I press the cycle, I have to t take a breath of fresh air and not to mess up around. This part right here is, if not, not that hard, but if I screw up the momentum, I'll probably die. And I'll probably risk it of making a, a first two. Because I always had the luck of dying if I, if I had a first two. Or make a third frame wall kick. I thought I was dying because I was squeezing against the wall too much. And if I were all dinged back, I would probably hit the wall and bounce back by accident. This one is kind of interesting, especially when you're supposed to get the start in the cage. Oh, I think... I think it didn't... I guess I had the start, but it turned blue. Now I think I got the star in the cage. But instead it was the eyeball star that turned blue when I tried it. Yeah, I should probably really download the game. I should really download the game because um, I heard says that they would um, re-release the game because it had uh, some, some more improvements. So I guess I won't lose anything I had. After this, we should be fine. 
if not so, I'm so ludicrous. Yeah, I think I should probably get the eyeballs though again. Just I saw in the comments. But at least I can still say I finally beat this level. Because I'm going to get back to it again. When it comes to red. Oh boy. I, I also hate... Even if you want to explore the same level over again, but I hate going over the same place like even 10 times, even if you look into some stuff you, you just missed. I hate games that does that, but just for the game, that is pretty redundant after all. Right now we should be free because I left some of the easier ones because they are all close all together. Oh, don't screw this jump. I always had the back. Give like, give up. Oh, don't fall. I almost hit the crystal right there. I got lucky. I always had that cave when checking at the right angle when I hit the wall. It should be fine. It takes time when you should, when you you know what you're doing. Oh yeah, gotta watch that. Gotta watch the edge. Just creeping in the very edge of that platform because I slowly walk from the edge and, and I just fall down without having been the chance of grabbing the ledge, which is kind of stupid because I was halfway through of finishing this mission again. At this point, we're done. Alright, don't mess up. This is, at this point, I dealt with, with while gathering all the coins. Because I hit the wall there and 
and didn't have the chance to to grab the ledge. So that was pretty unfortunate, but I was so desperate of finishing pretty soon. Which is why I wasted another two hours. But this is what happens when you increase way too much on the difficulty by pulling way too much coins. And that's it. 